Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 7 of Civilization 5 on Deity Difficulty. Things aren't going too bad. China's forward settling me quite a lot, which makes it difficult for me to actually get any of my units out of here to deal with someone. So I'm probably going to have to actually get rid of some of these Chinese cities before I can go and do anything against anyone else. That said, if I can actually keep China friendly, um, then I've got a very good chance of using them to protect me from everybody else. But you just never know how that's going to end with uh, China. So I'm bringing this scout home so that I can get him upgraded. We were selling salt to Neb for ivory. I'd like to keep that happiness going, so if we have the option to do that... Do any of our cities have any demands? Krakow wants wine, you want crab... Uh, we can actually get wine if we trade with um, Brazil. So let's go ahead and trade our... Oh, you don't want the salt, or you already have salt. Bugger. Okay, then we'll go back and... Um, we could just sell the salt to Spain. We could sell the salt to Spain and then buy the wine. Uh, we'd lose a little bit of gold per turn in doing so, but uh, we'll keep this trade going on with Neb while we can. We'll just do ivory for salt straight up. I don't desperately need the cities to grow. I don't have that much extra happiness at the moment anyway, so there doesn't seem to be a lot of point. So we do need to get out some more units, but bear in mind I am trying to get a few barracks and things first because it'll just having those extra couple of promotions when you start with a unit is much, much um, better than a unit with no promotions. Also, that tile there is a fish tile that I actually wanted. One, two, three. It's one of the reasons why I settled this side of the river. So they've kind of stolen a fish tile from me there, which is a little bit annoying. Ah, can't actually get through there anyway, can I? Because I can't go through the deep water yet. So we can cut around, though. We can definitely go around in this direction. They're upgrading the gems for me. That's nice. We have a work boat, so let's go ahead and get you on this fish tile. We will eventually reach this fish tile. Not sure if we have any other sea resources. We're working that tile there, so that is good. And obviously, once we get the lighthouse, it'll be an even better tile. One, two, three. Yeah, we will be able to reach that fish tile. So Warsaw will be working two fish tiles. Vods will get this one down here. Krakow already has one, so we could do with another work boat. So many things to do. I was hoping to get a fourth city. I'm kind of tempted to try and take Shanghai if we get the opportunity. As nice as this city could be. Very un very uh, city spammy there. Of um, oh, That's why I can't move through. There's units in the way. Oh, we'll get through somehow. Yeah, you can't do anything yet because people are just blocking you. So we'll continue to fight our way through. We are going to want to upgrade these horses as well. Looks like our uh, workers have finished on the bison. So they can go over and start working on the horses. Getting a ducal stable will be here. will be good here. Because we'll have ducal stable and a barracks. So producing um, mounted units from here will be really good. Let's get you moving down. Yep, you have finished. We'll get you here and you can start working on the pasture. Get some more production in Krakow. All of these uh, scouts that have sort of got trapped because they can't get out of people's borders. Silly scouts. I mean, I'm pretty much done with my scout now. I've uncovered most of the land. I mean, okay, I could go over to the east and try and explore um, what... Ch uh, what uh, Babylon and Spain have got, but there really doesn't seem like a lot of point. That said, though, there, there is uh, clearly some wonders around that we haven't found yet. Found yet. So we've purchased a pagoda, which is nice. Uh, in Warsaw, we've finished the lighthouse. There's a lot of nice things that we could get. Let's go ahead and we'll get a cargo ship, just because we don't have one yet. After the cargo ship, we will work on a, another workboat, because we're going to need one of those. So now we're actually getting five food and one production from the fish tile, which makes them much better. On to the next turn. Then we're working on machinery now, so we're 15 turns away from getting crossbowmen. We should be able to upgrade them. Um, You want to buy my horses still? How many horses do I have? I just have the, the 
two. I'm not going to accept that. I want to keep my horses now. Um, I think that's just because I... No, I haven't hooked up any new horses. I'm about to hook up these ones. How many do we have? We have two here. We have two here. I don't have many horses to spare. And my unique unit is a horse. So I do definitely want to be able to get as many of those as possible. Uh, we've grown in terms of population here. We're now working a tile that is not really brilliant. So we are going to have to definitely get some upgraded tiles. We've got enough money. We'll actually go ahead and buy um, this fish tile and we'll work that. We'll get work boats on it as well. But that's a much better use of, of that tile. Um, we'll get you down here. Then hopefully we can get you into our own land. Terra and Rome are now allies. And almost and somebody else that I don't care about. You finish that section of road there. I guess having it here and here would be good because then we've got a roadway over the river. So that's the way we'll do it. And we'll go on to the next turn. Now we can bring this guy into our territory and upgrade him. No, nope, we still don't want open borders with you. I'm tempted to buy this hill. Because it would give me better defences against uh, Hangzhou. Because at least then I can sit on the hill. And I think that's what I'm actually going to do. So it'll it'll annoy China. It'll definitely annoy China. Um, but tough. So we're going to go and buy that. And um, we'll upgrade these guys. Still got a bit of money left in the bank. So that's fine. Um, but it does stop them expanding. I mean they can still expand around us. But at least I can stand sit on the hill to shoot at their city. So that's partially ideal. You guys are going to start building a road. And on to the next turn. So I'm expecting China to pop up now and say, yep, yeah, uh, our apologies. We won't do that in the future. If I want any more land that... I mean, it, this is one thing that's always annoyed me about this game. The AI will quite happily forward settle you and drop a city right next to you. If you say anything to them, if you say don't settle near me, they take it as an insult and hate you. But there again, if, if you settle or buy land near them and they speak to you about it, you've just got to sort of nod and bow and curtsy and accept it. Because if you say anything else, they hate you. So everything you do diplomatically gets the AI to hate you, essentially. Um, but I think we should be okay. You're going to stay there on alert. And let's go on to the next turn, because apparently there's nothing else that we can do. Not making a lot of money. Things will be better once we get a cargo ship or two. Stop that camera, it's very annoying. You still want open borders, you're not going to get them. I have to work out which of these two cities we actually have the... Um, oh yeah, we'll renew our declaration of friendship with Spain. Uh, need to work out which of these two cities has the pagoda in. We'll get the other pagoda in 24 turns anyway. And then we can try and go back to missionaries and, and swap out these uh, Taoism for our own religion. One turn away from getting the work boat, which we'll go and send down here because we were already working this tile. And then we need to get another one. And we can start work on uh, the fish up here. No tourism at all at the moment. Does anybody else have any? Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of tourism around. England's actually the tourism leader at the moment. Uh, we've managed to steal a tech. We can steal theology or we can um, steal chivalry actually. Um, what are we currently working on? Are we currently working on chivalry? No. We are working on... What are we working on? We're working on machinery. We're working on this. So we, we might as well take chivalry because it's the one that gives us the... Um, the, most, uh, the most science. It's worth 754. Everything else is only worth 450-ish. So, yep, yeah, we'll go for free chivalry. We can build castles now. We can also build knights. Uh, when can we actually build our unique unit? Uh, if I could type, it'd help. The winged hussar comes with metallurgy. Which we are going to be working on at some... Do we really not have that? 
Oh, it's quite far up the tree, really, isn't it? Oh, so it, knights will be useful then in the meantime. So the spy got promoted. That is good. So what are we going to do? We have a cargo ship. You are going to get to this tile. Apparently you can't. Any particular reason? Oh, because it's a cargo ship, not a work boat. Derp. Um... We could trade with Timowak. That's not a bad idea. We would get a lot of gold per turn for that. 18 gold per turn. And 5 science. Yeah, sure. Let's go and do that then. Definitely be having some of that. Now the question is, did we get caught? Obviously our spy didn't get killed. But did he actually find out? It's possible that we didn't get spotted. A lot of extra gold per turn there, that's certainly worth it. It's only one turn left on our golden age. Yep. He actually caught us spying. That's unfortunate. We'll have to move the spy somewhere else for a while. Actually losing quite a bit of culture for some reason. Why are we losing so much culture per turn? Oh, because our happiness is going down, possibly. Okay then, so if we're not going to spy on you... Who are we going to spy on? Who has the second highest tech out of everybody else? Well, that's the thing. We don't really know, do we? Probably Spain, but we don't want to spy on Spain because we do have a declaration of friendship. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and spy on Brazil. So we will move you to... Uh, Rio de Janeiro as a spy. We'll see what we can get out of you there. On to the next turn then. Yeah, I don't know why my culture per turn has suddenly dropped so much. Our population hasn't gone down. It must have just been a drop in happiness. Did a deal end or something. I don't think I've got any spare things that I can give away. Let's have a quick look at the resource list nope the only thing i've got i'm exporting all my salt and i importing ivory i don't have spare marble or furs so we didn't lose a, a luxury there unless it was what i was paying for crab wine and cotton i mean i could just go and buy one we could i suppose right. we've got the extra money now we could go and just buy the wine i mean it's probably worth it because by buying the wine, I'm actually getting additional happiness. So I'm also buying culture as well as happiness. And I'm also going to get a Wheel of the King Day in Krakow. So for 9 gold per turn, I'm getting better growth in Krakow. I'm getting more happiness, which leads to faster golden ages. And I'm getting more um, culture. So it's probably well worth doing. The road has been connected up, which is good stuff. Um... Quite a lot of things that do need working on. We haven't got that wheat improved yet, have we? So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll send these guys up to get those horses. And yet, there's just a whole laundry list of jobs that we need to get our various different sibs doing. Well, China already has knights. China have just got upgraded to their um, Chukonu, which are absolutely lethal. So we do want to get our crossbowmen as quickly as possible. Warsaw has grown. Krakow is the king. You are now choosing to work which tile? This one down here. We definitely need to get... Let's let's switch it to one of these up top just because it'll be easier to grab a farm up here. Our workers are closer. Uh, we also need to start our new production in there. I think we are going to get ourselves a knight or two. Not many. Um, knights aren't all that useful. We, we definitely we definitely want our um, unique units. Our unique units are very strong. Oh, look at that fish out here that we can't reach. That's a shame. It's worth having one, maybe two knights around because the ability to move after attacking and also having four movement can be quite useful. At least if China do attack at the moment, they've got to sort of come th over hills and through forest, which means that I can sort of plink at them from my city. So we should be okay. It'll take you a while to get down there, but never mind. 
Well, that was a very productive turn, wasn't it? Couldn't really do anything about that. China's turn again. We do still need to get ourselves another, probably another cargo ship. So we'll get one queued up as soon as possible. Pedro is constructing the Forbidden Palace. Of course he is. Now, how long is it going to take us to spy on him to steal technology? 22 turns. Seems like it's reasonable. Wow, Shoshone's dropped down quite a bit in terms of um, their score. But are you willing yet to declare war on China? Still not willing to do it. They've, they've settled right on your border. Are you willing to declare war on the Shoshone? No, not yet. These workers are finished. You are going to go up there and sort the horses out. And then we need to start getting some farms built. It's actually weird. I find sometimes when you start playing, especially on easier difficulties, you tend to go around and build a lot of farms before anything else. And now, I mean, I'm on turn 181. And apart from improved wheat, I don't actually have any farms at all. Everything else has been improving other tiles. Pocatello has completed Himeji Castle. Well, we knew that he was doing it, so shouldn't be a surprise. On to the next turn. How long have these uh, settlers, uh, these uh, scouts, been stuck in this wa one little tiny piece of land? Yeah, you've got a lot of stuff, China. I'm hoping you um, attack the Shoshone. Meanwhile, Brazil sat in the corner just sort of laughing away with nobody touching him. So, let's go ahead. Um, 145 gold to upgrade these guys to crossbows. Well, we definitely need to do it because we're not going to stand a chance against uh, Chukonus if we don't. So, there's most of our money gone, but it has really upgraded our units quite considerably. We could get forges. Could be quite useful. Work our way into physics. We could work our way into long swordsmen. I guess that's not a bad idea. Money from fishing boats could be useful. Get some harbours. That would lead us through theology, which doesn't give us anything instantly useful. But I think we'll go into comp. Well, we should really get education first, and we'll get compass first. After that, we'll queue up steel. And then we'll start working into education. Get our Oxford University and we can then probably use it to unlock something else a bit further up the tree. Seems like the best thing to do. Of course, we might change depending on how things play out over the next few turns. We might uh, change our mind. just really need to find a way to get China to war with somebody that isn't me. Um, unit promotion. We have ourselves a knight. Let's go and give them shock. And medic's not bad, actually. Medic's quite good on... Because um, we have ducal stables here, we get a double upgrade. Medic's not bad on cavalry, just because they, they have so much movement. So let's put them over here. We need new production. Um, we definitely need another work boat, so let's work on one of those. We'll get ourselves another cargo ship, and then we'll probably get ourselves another crossbowman at this point. And we'll get a market. Market before the crossbowman, I think. Um, Iron to Isabella ended. I think I'm willing to keep that going for a while. So, if I give you, um, three iron... And you don't have 202. If I give you 2 iron and you give me 135, there we go. Gives us back some of the money that we had. Also, while we're there, actually, uh, would you possibly be willing to declare war on the Chinese? No, why not? What's wrong with you? Rome's doing really badly in this game. Rome are usually a lot stronger than this. So he's not really going to want to declare war on... Well, we don't want you to declare war on Pocatello. Anyway, it's China we really want you to declare war on, if, if anybody. Um, yeah, no, just not willing to do it. 
Uh, you guys, oh yeah, because all of these guys got prom uh, upgraded, so they're all going to want orders. So we'll just tell them all to sit st sit tight. And same for you, really. You can just sit there. We'll go on to the next turn. I think we've got time for this one next turn. The area that Brazil Scout has got to run around in is getting smaller and smaller by the turn. With our own borders expanding and China's expanding, he's kind of getting bottlenecked in. Eventually, he will probably get squeezed out somewhere, though, so... Kiev and Rome no longer allies. Yes. Ranks players by the amount of production generated by all of their cities. At least I'm not bottom on production. I'm kind of middle on production, which is quite good. And considering Caesar's quite high for production, China's actually got really low production, considering they have a lot of cities. That's quite interesting. Uh, VODs has finished its walls, which is always good. There's lots of nice things we could get in VODs, and we probably should. We do want to keep happiness up. We could get a Colosseum. But as you're quite close to China, I think getting a... I think... I very often do not build castles. Um, normally the only time I build castles is when I get Neuschwanstein for the extra happiness. But given how close we are to China, and given the fact we're on deity, and given the fact they probably will attack at some point, I think having a castle in Vods and Krakow is quite important. Not so much in Warsaw. I think we'll get walls in Warsaw. I'm not necessarily sure we'll get... Um, uh, castles. If we're attacked anywhere in Warsaw, it's likely to be from the ocean. But I certainly need, I think we need at least walls and hopefully castles in these two cities up here. But that is over the 20 minute mark, so it's a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization 5 on Deity Difficulty, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.